guys welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in today if you are new to my channel my name is Bree. today i'm going to be showing you guys my updated everyday makeup routine i already posted a video earlier in my channel of my makeup routine but i made a little changes so i just want to share that with you guys this is a quicker um routine i didn't really change much of my eyebrows so i didn't show you that part but if you guys do want to see how i do my eyebrows i have two videos of uh, eyebrow uh, tutorials on my um, YouTube channel so I'll link those up above in the cards and if you guys want to see how I do my makeup I want you to continue watching but before you go don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos I upload at least once a week sometimes twice a week and also make sure you leave a comment and like my video stay tuned to see how I did this flawless beat Okay guys, so the foundation for every pop-in makeup routine is clean, hydrated skin. So if you haven't already checked out my skincare routine video, I will go ahead and leave that up in the cards. Go ahead and check them out before you see this video so you'll know what to do with your skin before you put that makeup on it. So I'm going in with my normal Fenty Beauty um, foundation. It is in the shade 400, but I'm also adding some of LA Color Truly Matte Longwear High Pigment Foundation in the shade Cappuccino just to kind of neutralize the color of that Fenty. Now I'm going to go ahead and buff that out with a dense foundation brush. And if you can't tell, I blend till the cows come home. I don't like any streaks in my makeup, so I'm just going to keep on blending until it's seamless, honey. So now I'm going in with my Fenty Concealer in the shade 380. Here's what I'm doing a little differently. I'm trying to keep that concealer towards the center of my face. I'm not gonna drag it so far out to the outer portion of my face like I used to. And I'm also gonna let this sit on my face before I blend it out for about three, three to five minutes. I used to let it sit for a few seconds, but I've been watching a lot of Jackie Iron lately and she says to let it sit longer. So that's what I've been doing and it's actually been working. So now I'm just going ahead and I'm buffing out the concealer with my soft sponge. It's not a beauty blender, but it's a sponge I got off Amazon. It's very, very fluffy, very, very soft. But because we let that concealer set for so long, it's going to take it, take a little more work to get it blended out properly. So I'm going to take my time and really, really blend this concealer out. So you're not going to be able to tell on camera, but I'm using a really, really light hand when I'm buffing out the concealer underneath my eye because I want to keep most of that product on the skin. I don't want it to go into my sponge. So I'm using a really, really light hand and I'm not dragging that concealer so far down my cheek. I'm just keeping it in that one general area as best I can. Okay, so now that I made sure I don't have any creases under my eye, I'm going to immediately go in with my HD setting powder uh, from Absolute New York in the color Brightening Banana. And I'm going to go ahead and powder up my under eye. I still don't bake, but I'm finding myself using a little more powder. It just makes my concealer stay in place that much longer. So now I'm just lightly going ahead and setting the rest of my face or the rest of my highlighted areas with that same setting powder, forehead, nose, um, upper lip, and my chin. So now I'm going to contour my face using the same palette I used in my last makeup tutorial video. Um, it's the Ruby Kisses um, Artist Palette, Contour Palette. So I'm just going to go ahead and contour up my face. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out, buff it into my skin with one of my fluffy brushes I got from Amazon. I actually went back into that contour palette, put some more product on my brush, and I'm bringing the contour down closer to the highlighted areas, not quite under the eye, but on the side of my eye. Um, just to give me more color, a more shaded look. And this is another new thing I've been doing that I'm actually really, really liking. Now I'm going to clean up my contour with my Fenty Beauty 
setting powder in the shade hazelnut i'm using this setting powder this time because it's a little darker it matches my skin tone a little bit better you don't necessarily want that part to brighten we're just cleaning up the contour at this point just to give my jaw a more chiseled look so i don't let this um setting powder sit at all i just immediately go ahead and start buffing it away um, with a fluffy brush um, you don't want that to sit because if you the longer you leave it on the ashier you'll be so just go ahead and immediately start buffing it away so now i'm using my spotlight highlight bh cosmetic palette to highlight the high points of my face i'm using the color radiance so now that I'm done highlighting, I'm going to set my face with my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. Uh, guys, this is on sale right now at Ulta 2 for 22. And if you guys couldn't tell already, I do have eyelash extensions on already. However, they're looking a little empty, a little hungry, and it's time to get a fill, but I'm not going to get a fill. I'm just waiting for them all to fall out. So in the meantime, I'm going to put lashes on top of the extensions, uh, strip lashes on top of the extensions. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on those bad boys. So now I'm lining my lips with one of my NYX lip pencils. It's in the shade Dark Brown. And I'm gonna line my lips and then I'm gonna put on a gloss on top. So this is liquid lipstick from JLB Cosmetics in the shade Butterscotch. I didn't feel like it was glossy enough so I just put on a cheap gloss on top of that. I'm just using that same highlight palette but this time I'm going in with the shade Dream to put in my tear ducts towards the inner corner of my eye. And I'm also going to put some of the highlight shade Radiance in the center of my eyelid. By now you guys know I'm not a big fan of eyeshadows, so just going to put a little glow. And last but not least, which I think this is the last thing, is I'm lining my lower lash line with black eyeliner from NYX. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some mascara on my bottom lashes as well from NYX. Alright guys, this is my finished and complete makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.